scheduled for one fall. Introducing first in the corner to my left, from Her Majesty's London, Alexis Rose. Her disgruntled opponent in front of me is the only good thing to come out of Providence, Rhode Island. DC going to be calling the action, this time joined by Sonia Strong, a very, very impressive victory earlier tonight over Vanity, who, I've got to say, there were quite a few times where I thought that she had your number. Drew, I, by now you should have a little bit more faith in me. That's why I'm here, right, in Women's Wrestling Revolution? Well, you know, I heard multiple times you were calling out Veda Scott throughout the contest. You know what, yes, because last month at Beyond Wrestling, me and her were supposed to face one-on-one. -on -one. She took, she stole the pin from me, and we were supposed to have a match later on that didn't get to happen because I wasn't in the building. And then she took that time to address me not being there, not even knowing why, but it's okay. Because everything Veda do is a little bit cheap, including that outfit. Well, there's certainly no question about that, but I mean, even you used questionable tactics earlier tonight, the way that you were stepping on the back of your opponent's head, grinding Vanity's face into the canvas. You know what? I've learned in this business, I've done things the right way, and that's got me a lot of losses. So doing it this way has absolutely, I got the win, so I'm gonna do whatever is necessary because I am a winner. Well, it seemed like your team, when you did team alongside Veda Scott back in December at Beyond Wrestling Party Animals, it did seem like you had picked up the victory for your team, but it was Veda Scott that jumped in with the assistance of Ryan Gallion making his reintroduction to Beyond Wrestling, and she stole the victory from you. She stole the victory from me. Of course, I would get the win, Drew. But at the end of the day, she's been doing these tactics a little bit longer than I am. So that's why I'm watching her today. Because she definitely has my number when it comes to doing things a little bit more cheap. So I'm going to pay attention because the next time when we do face off, I'm going to be victorious against Veda Scott. Do you respect Veda Scott? I, I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Fair enough. Back to the action in the ring, Alexis Rose with a bit of a feeling out process. That didn't last too long. Veda Scott with a handful of hair. And I'll tell you what, you may be shocked to see that she has so many supporters here, but the match that she had teaming alongside Ryan Gallione against Joey Janela and Penelope, the team of Janelope, if it, as it were, was, uh, was unbelievable. Just six days ago in this very building, and Joey Janela tossed her from the top rope, drove her on her head. It's a miracle that she's even able to walk and stand, never mind wrestle here today. So I think with that gutsy performance, you know, even though Veda Scott does like to bend the rules or outright cheat, I think that she earned a lot of the respect of the fans there. It seems like she's yet to earn your respect, though. I don't think it's a respect thing. Is that until we get in the ring and she acknowledges that I am a better wrestler than her, then we'll see where we go with this. But what I will say is that she's absolutely strong in that ring. I've watched plenty of Veda Scott's matches, so I won't take away the fact that she is resilient in there. How familiar are you with Veda Scott's opponent tonight, Alexis Rose? I honestly am not familiar with Alexis Rose at all. This is the first time I'm seeing her and I'm actually very, very uh, intrigued. Well, a lot of evasive maneuvers from Alexis Rose. Pretty tall competitor, still able to stay one step ahead of Veda Scott, but Veda Scott's so crafty. You gotta give the devil, the devil her due, excuse me, is that she's not only typically the smartest competitor in the ring, but usually the smartest person in the room. Both of these women are both veterans to me, so right now this is all about learning, paying attention, and seeing what my opponents in the future will do. So this is all learning curves for me, but doesn't make it... The problem is that Veda doesn't respect anyone, so when Veda comes in that ring and she tells everyone that she respects me as the better wrestler, then maybe me and her can start off better, on a better foot. But right now, I think I'm going for Alexis Rose. I don't really care who wins, though. Oh, more cheap tactics. As her opponent was bracing herself, she couldn't get out of the way of the kick. She was trying to cover up, defend herself the best that she could, and Veda instead just scratching those dirty fingernails across her back. And that's what she does. 
She's just a little dirty, dirty girl. Yeah, but you're not going to win like that, are you? I mean, she wins. So Fair you know enough. What? This is why I'm watching, because I want to see what it is that Veda Scott is doing. And I want to pay attention that way. When I get in the ring with her, I know what's coming. Big snapmare. Veteran maneuver to get her away from the ropes. And now perhaps we're going to see some signature offense out of Veda Scott. She likes to tie up those arms. Oh. Almost a variation of a full Nelson, but with more pressure applied to the head. I mean, the legs are stronger than the arms, so it stands to reason she's got a better chance getting a submission than by using a traditional full Nelson. But she does leave herself vulnerable to be pinned from this position, and instead, Alexis Rose, believe it or not, with a counter. The knee and the spine of Veda Scott. And she controls the left arm. Let's see where she can go from here. Now just taunting Veda Scott, motioning as if she could get her arms to the ropes, but Veda cannot. Oh! really quiet, Drew, because I'm paying attention. Sorry. We saw Veda Scott, the inside, the bone of her forearm, caught her with the point. Was able to get some separation, and now just grinding she the eyes. She's just a little cheater. Anything, any, anything she can do to win. So disrespectful. Man, 16 feet all the way across the ring. Just grinding her face in the tape and steel cable. You know, she went and she was in the bathroom for an hour doing her makeup, and Veda Sky is just using the ropes to wipe it off. Once again, using her legs. Another oh. full Nelson type maneuver. Veda's just full of submissions today. Referee says that Alexis Rose has not given up yet. She's gonna have to try and use her powerful legs to press Veda Scott's shoulders to the mat. And Veda Scott now transitioning to a waist lock. Rolling Alexis Rose over, but Alexis no Rose good, no good. kicking out, and by kicking out, puts herself right back into a submission predicament. Oh, uh -oh. this time, uh -oh. kicking out. What's happening here? Uh oh. We've seen a lot of variations of surfboards tonight. We have not seen a seated one. Look at the way that Veda Scott's arms are bent. We saw a near broken arm in the last matchup between Gabby Castrovinci and Barbie Hayden. Barbie Hayden forced to tap out or else her arm was gonna be broken. But Veda Scott right there looked uh, as though Alexis Rose was not able to maintain that hold because I think Veda Scott's done so much damage to her. Yeah, Veda Scott is on the offense right now, so. Ooh. Or the defense. Oh! oh nice drop kick. Let's go, Veda. Aveda maneuvering herself under that bottom rope. She, I'm sure she has something up her sleeve. Alexis Rose grabbed her by the head. Veda Scott looked like she went for the eyes. Alexis Rose missing wildly with that kick. Uh, looks like another submission. Now Veda Scott, the dragon sleeper, over the top she has rope. Her on the ropes. She's gonna have to break that. An illegal hold, but how much damage was done? Of course, very high ropes here at the WWR ring. She's just smiling in that ring. She's so disrespectful. That's my problem. Ooh, solid shot right there. Tell you what, you come all the way over from the United Kingdom, you're here to make a statement. I, I, I'm liking Alexis Rose's chances right now. Oh. Cartwheel. Nice back elbow. Now oh, she's got that knuckle lock, having oh. a little bit of trouble scaling the ropes. Roundhouse kick to the midsection and to the back. Good job, Alexis, good job. A nice recovery, but does she have tunnel vision? She's looking for it once again. This time up to the second rope. Ooh, oh, and a big four. Four. Straight to the face, yes, yes, yes. She can't capitalize. Count a little faster, ref. Let's get Veda out of here. I think Alexis Rose landed awkwardly when she came down with that forearm. She might have rocked herself. Oh no, she was playing possum. Uh oh. She is ready. Veda Scott might be getting caught up in a backslide. No one said elevated off the mat. Alexis Rose may be looking for a gory stretch. Look at the pain etched on the face of Veda Scott. Now getting maneuvered farther away from the ropes. As Veda's hooking the arm, she's back on her feet. Got her opponent stacked up. No good, no good. Second away from defeat. This is a pin she's gonna have to earn. Ooh, big kick. I was looking for the German suplex, Rose fighting off. 
Able to sidestep her. Oh! oh! That Capo kick. It's so devastating. And it's no good. Damn, I never even seen Liger throw it like that. That Capo kick. That Capo kick. It's Beta vicious. Scott making low key blush. Oh. How resilient is Rose responding with a kick of her own? She might be on Dream Street right now, just running on adrenaline. Wobbly legs. What's she looking for right here? Is she taking too much time? Up to the second rope. Oh, no water in the pool. No good. Vader's gonna take full advantage. Oh, another kick with that shining wizard. How many more of these kicks can Rose withstand? That's it, knocked her out. Knocked her clean out. That was a good victory for Veda. Scott.